At Bristol City Museum, everything has its history on display. Or does it? Alfred the Gorilla was Bristol Zoo's poster boy from 1930 to 1948, and he still enjoys a special place in the hearts of Bristolians today. One of the first gorillas to be kept in captivity, he drew huge crowds to the zoo. On the surface then, hardly a contender for Bristol's best kept secret. But thanks to the Freedom of Information Act, we can now reveal a darker side to Alfred's story. In his cell, away from the public glare, Alfred mastered calculus, read the classics of French literature, and dreamt of a better life. 1941, the Blitz hits Bristol. Hitler had presented Alfred with an opportunity to escape. The disappearance of Bristol Zoo's star attraction would have lost them money faster than an Icelandic bank. So they agreed, a cover-up must begin. Meanwhile, Alfred, now a master of disguise, slipped unnoticed into local politics. He became a popular public figure, campaigning against the residence parking scheme. But events would soon see him well and truly stuffed. Forgetting to lock his office one night, Alfred unwittingly revealed that all might not be as it seemed. Realising Bristol's most popular policies had been devised by an ape, the council voted 341 to 1 in favour of Alfred's removal. They then voted unanimously to cover up the disappearance of Councillor A.G. Orilla, a secret that has been kept to this day.